yesterday was fun. We saw one power bike hit W. Can the other do it now? Because it's Demi. And die. Here we go. Right. 15 minutes again. Can we see power bike hit? This is a this is a trivia uh, for you. Who was the last team to win two races in a weekend? If I'm not mistaken, wasn't it Envy at some point in season four? I believe so. I'll check the paperwork. And yes, I keep all the paperwork on hand. Do we need to be all your nine round here? Well, not really me. And well, Dion Lee, Dion Lee's into turn one. Me. Yep, man on Dion Lee. Oh. Die, and it is Haggerson. No, Lips done a flying up the inside. Oh, and T rates collide. Oh, and that's a huge shot. Who was that as well? The way they're just a bit like the Nicolaia. Former T rates collided, I think. Oh, nasty. Yeah, it was Nick. Hey, oh, yeah. All with platinum teammates colliding and <laughs> covered platinum teammates colliding. It's all kicking off at turn one. Oh Nick, my life. Nick's a, yeah, I, I'd honestly argue that's more Nick's rather than Hackinson. Uh, I think yeah. He uh, oh, the call, so he's fully sent them up the inside. I, and just couldn't slow down in time. It got collected and then. Oh, he was still yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ, I go look, I go check the paperwork for one big minute and I miss, it, it all this kicks off. interesting part of the weekend so far. <laughs> is, is that just to my look? Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, yes, it was Envy who got a race win at the sprint race in, in Bar, followed by the race with the reverse grid in Bar and the podium in in France, which I cannot remember now if that was at the Grand Prix. Honestly, Isn't yeah. it far though that we do you France guys then? Season 5 Esther was good, you didn't see Season 4 Envy or Season 3 too far. Well, I say Season 3 too far, I mean Season 3 Ezio, but... Speaking of which, uh, Marie Boucher uh, not that far off uh, Austin Lingvist. Lingvist, even. There we are. Well... So the comeback is there. on! If I'd like to save it in. Pretty sure they're inside the points at the moment, so she has something going for her. Meanwhile, six years. Time you up to six, by the way. Crikey! Well, he's won mission this weekend, although as I say that, he doesn't make a bad mistake. Uh, Paris is lunging one up the edge. Uh, Oh, the high repeat of what I'm kicking off I think she's going to go slamming into the rail. Yeah, that gave me flashbacks to season 4 Jarvo. Oh, not Jarvo, Bliggy Sherman. Who, has, by the way, has never recovered. He's done yeah. nothing in his career since. Yeah, I think he's currently driving in GTE. Don't know, that his career fell off. Um, a I think the witch, uh... Okay. He didn't really do a whole I mean, race one, but to be fair, he wasn't wild, so he did better than a lot of people might have been expecting. Yeah, still. For a second race, Jensen, I think, what, 15th? It's not too bad for a second race. Yeah. He didn't get the advantage in the first race either. Although you could have thought sort of he might have benefited from, you know, the part of spinning and Nicolet of getting absolutely smashed into it. Yeah, the definitely a bit of fortune there. Definitely not as good as the. Uh... Yeah, I'd also argue luck is a good part of any sport. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Sport is definitely. Yeah, I'd yeah, probably say motorsport is probably about 90% skill, 10% look. I mean, look roughly. At this round that she never blew up and he somehow nearly spoiled his way to a title. Now he's washed up in ITCL with Liberty, so. He by all accounts is worth thinking about uh, buying one of those uh, Formula 1 cars and then buying another car to drive in Formula 1. Oh, and Hagerson has gone into the wall. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. What is it with Hackerson? I don't know if Hackers like, was taking fucking lessons from Max Verstappen or something over the free season or what, but he has uh, come back very aggressive. And with that, uh, we've got the uh, uh, Dutch half of me now, so uh, I'll see you. <laughs> uh, uh, rest in peace, Dara Logan. We'll, Let's see. You well, will be it missed. It the exact same manoeuvre as well. Oh. Yeah, it was. It's literally the exact same thing he got a free second penalty for in race one. Great. So oh, my. Right. Although, I don't know if it was as severe as the incident in race one, because at least he didn't then ram into Ezio again like he did with Jarbo. So... I think uh, he big... might still get penalties, uh, but he might also get away with it. We'll see. That's 50-50. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually yeah, calling yeah. cost. So, dang it, oh, I should... turning into a, a bit of a, a bit of an asshole. Yeah, he's he, in this life. He, he wants to cause chaos. Now that's what happened, I reckon. I can't give my opinion on this accident because if I do, I'm gonna be in trouble. Yes. Uh, piece of wit. Uh, Boucher, get your shit together. Alright. Alright, because everyone's now fighting with Ezio. Can I get any lower? No. <laughs> no, in a more serious note, uh. Yeah, <laughs> Meanwhile, Betsy's, uh, n at, is at least not behind, uh, an OAP. Come on, Newsy, she's behind Garmawan. Of an <laughs> we don't talk about that part. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> More <laughs> reason. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay. I kind of opened the door. Right. Be the open up the door. Uh... Right, here we go. Uh, that's the back into the best corner part 2, man, that's just blew the way, let's go. Uh... Oh. So, saying that, if they're not careful, they might end up be, uh, inviting them... ...a fair few of the, uh, lower midfield in. So... Uh, which Boucher and Crowler... ...have a little fight for, uh, 13th? Not again. Uh, oh, Ezio's going down the inside. Oh, oh, oh. on the outside, that's going to allow Cordova to come up the inside into the final corner, with Bavinu just behind them. Oh, oh, oh. go. Oh, he's coming to the back oh. of soon. Cordova goes up. Oh, my God. Go, go Jordan, get involved it. In everything this weekend. And, of course, and now Ezio's right. going to get out dragged by Cordova, because he nearly went into the back of Hackinson, surely, yeah. Then, but then they're still then, uh, they go towards turn one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Bavinu's not that far away, so a cock up from me who wanted them to could allow him to get involved. Bavinu could legitimately get a double podium. Ezio goes a little bit wide, that allows Cordova to go through. Bavinu, right well on the outside, <laughs> but it hits. Ezio goes for the next side of Shrat, he then makes contact with oh, Cordova. Oh, <laughs> and then Bavinu gets in. Oh my life. How is he going to win this battle? Okay. Don't you think he's going to wake up this season? First I can thing, I can get the hardest fight. We're back to normal. <laughs> I can get the hardest sort of fight. Yeah, it's but, uh, one or two incidents of Boucher against points. The feeling is he wants this to happen, and here comes Lingbis into this fight now. Hey, I think that would be completely objective, did I? To we have been objective all weekend, so um. Hey, at least I get shown to be. <laughs> um, yeah, battle for fifth now on. As Ezio kind of got away, so did Atkinson. And boom, it's two. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, the halfway through the race now. Yeah, just over halfway. Lingus has the fastest lap of the race in the world, just by the way. So uh, that's good news. Well, for him. I yeah, I've got to say, I can't I, imagine I'm, that. I'm not at that muddy. That's too really wide. I don't really care. There's another funny shark man. So. Pretty shark man. Just a bit of uh, shit post. Oh, dirty. Just just replaced the void that was left by um, Nomo. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Dion leaves in BA, then Hackinson and then Ezio Bavenu. And then this fight. Lingus cannot fell off the back of it. So we'll see. Oh. Six minutes, thirty to go. Finally, we went a whole uh, wait round that corner it looking like anybody grabbing into the bloody barrier. Like one of them. Hmm? Oh, yeah. 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 I know she's definitely been on the podium before, so that's a fact. Oh, come on, Boucher, you need to cut the code by... Oh, no, we're 
Oh god dang it all! Oh, oh I'm getting annoyed now. Uh, oh. oh no, not these two again. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this. Uh, oh, here we got the inside, and he just uh, left us. Please don't get this challenge. We need the money. I was going to say, uh, I'm pretty sure we're not monetized. Hey, well, the the film. Yeah. Where's my money? We're not doing, we're not doing season two again. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, Where's my money? Livery. I know, I'm going to give them that credit. Their livery is yeah. okay. I mean, I was uh, personally quite a big fan of a couple of the other. I don't know what I did, mate. I'm going to just give them five minutes, but whatever. Yeah, you put me in your bloody bottom, that's what you ended up doing. Yeah, I know why I put you bottom as well, so... I don't know what you're saying about Christian Murray's money or something. Oh, we've got, uh, three-way action in, it, in the back, but I actually probably should mention after these. Uh, guys. involving a woman? Yeah, probably should Where's mention it? three ways involving a woman. Um, uh, yeah. Actually, to be fair, one person in this chat won't even really care about that, so I don't know, actually it might be okay. Uh, uh anyway, move along from that, four minutes to go. Well, I well, technically, yeah. Um, Ezio trying to get the podium. For having you trying to get double podium, he won the first. He won yesterday. He might be on for a podium here, which would be quite the impressive thing oh. given the pair of don't actually have a team principal. Uh, yeah, I've got to say, I think Johnny Free just uh, stepped down earlier today, I think, or yesterday. Well, early in the week, so yeah. Yeah. Right, so, oh, Ezio made a slight mistake, but I've got to give Bavio a decent opportunity. With the way Bavio's going, I don't think you want to be doing that. Well, the good news for Ezio is he, had, he at least it's not hackers from behind, otherwise he would definitely be forced off the track, so... Uh, but yeah, from Ezio's point of view, definitely uh, the better choice you're probably to have behind him, based on current behaviour. See, I agree with Bavio, one of those drivers who's always like a 7 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 driver. Oh! Speaking of which, that was probably me to... Oh, we had flags for a second. Oh, Perez is off! Oh my lord, it's this the one, It's the one stopping to go off the track. Oh! Amaro Perez is back, baby. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Amaro Perez, you're Amaro Perez is best. He wasn't even I mean? really near anyone, so. Oh, she just lost. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. Ouch, yes. Um, penalty incoming from Perez for not being able to avoid Cordova. Uh, so it depends if the car is in a drivable state at that point. Which I think it probably uh, was. She could have been able to actually just steal off to the left or to the right. Could get penalised for that. We've seen instances like that get penalised before. So yeah, I'm gonna say his. Yeah, gonna say historically speaking, there is a lot of precedence for that. that, that yeah, that's at the moment would push Palace uh, down to twelfth, just behind Chevalier. So, well, he... Stoffel's Stoffel's greatest weakness is back, and that is Stoffel uh... himself. <laughs> you should have seen that one come in. If you, if you, no, actually, if you look up Stoffel Autosport Wikipedia and look at their enemy, it's just one word. It's just Stoffel. And there's nothing yeah. explained. It's summed up their whole history. They are their own greatest enemy sometimes. And it frustrates everyone. Because if they didn't have these issues, they would probably win the title. But then they do have these issues. And then they don't win the title, despite spending literally like seven times as much as anyone else. <laughs> and yet, still end up being one of the richest teams in the grid. I mean, on the grid. That's because they spent money. Huh? Stoffel going to be in Stoffel's for... Stoffel's going to be further and further up each season. So it's not... Oh. I mean, obviously, their own enemy is themselves. Wait, uh, so I wouldn't... Where is this cake over Winfield? No. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh! Also, Palace's current penalty will put her... just ahead of these two. Oh no, I think this is the final lap of the Oh game. no! Name <laughs> one drive on your grid, you go, one behind you! That's the moment that I can say. Okay, let me but... try that again. What female drive you go, you go, one behind you, given what gate, given their gave you season? It's the picture. To be fair, yeah, season two value at the shell was fun. 
Bobby kind of got the inside and everything. Oh. Actually, I think we're going to get one more lap. I don't know. Who's fighting? Uh, Peregrine coming in. And you and the amount of fight compared to last season, I feel. So they got rid of Johnny and now the team was woken up, apparently. There's probably a lesson to be learned from there somewhere. Bio team principle. <laughs> you just fucking ran. <laughs> well, I get you out. I set myself up for that one, so I'm not going to complain about that. Even is also on the chop as well right now. Um... Yeah. Gonna start doing what chat Alpha fans do whenever it goes to shit and just start screaming at the truck and probably better as loud as possible. <laughs> yeah, uh, Luke just did, oh. uh. Oh. Don't be trying to get past. There's the open of contact, but I'm just have to go the long way around to the final corner. He has to be very yeah, just... send it round the outside. That's the oh. issue, though. Round the outside goes badly, you. Um, and has he done it? Well, uh, but Ezio's going to get the uh, last he... inside. Uh, I think Ezio's going to hold the place. Oh, not much in it. Yeah, Ezio's going to hold the place. Right, time's up now, so yeah, we're going to get one more lap. One more lap, and... It looks like Manon Dion's on to win. First female winner of the year, by the way. Um... Well, can uh, Manon Dion? No one, it was not a warrior bestie. <laughs> oh, oh, you a bit of a tag with Ezio. Okay, but saying that, I guess go check a position. Oh, saying that, yeah. Oh, you made a little tag on Lindquist to win the race in race one, and he made uh, a tag on Ezio here to get people also on the final lap. Uh, I'm being a early on in the season. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, I am um, uh, very dirty. Yeah, I'm. I'm really living this new aggression being shown by both these. Be fair, it's just Shaveria. <laughs> nah, if they lose out their first point of the season, it's Shaveria. I think Alexis is just going to get rid of the Alexis in the bin, apparently. Oh, no. Right. Uh, you Back just didn't get it. That's still fine. Oh, you just didn't. Uh, a letter from the uh, chosen board of directors. Which is being posted to uh, Alexis Silverfire's death. <laughs> what is going on? Right, <laughs> Betsy, yeah, she's on the phone. Right, we will see if Blue Share can get points for Shogun. Bow is also in that fight, so that could go anywhere. Uh, Ezio trying to get back ahead of Bamadou. Dion's pulled out in fight lady and not really contested. Nikolaev currently has the fastest lap of the race, despite being. Well, it's Nikolaev. Hold on, go and find her. Oh yeah, she's 21st because she got caught up in the early incident. So at least we'll get something for her effort. Um, yeah, and uh, Boucher's not oh, going to get so young oh, for... Oh my god, god. god. We're gonna, Nomura! We're going to cut away because Dion wins the race. Uh, Dion right, followed by a GA after so, a very strong showing for Paragrad. Third. Followed by Ezio again babbing you. Perez, Nomura, Lingus, Javo, pulled over, Winfield. And Gavaria getting points again. For the Firmino, I'm up with no points this weekend. Points. Um, uh, after being hyped up by their King Thinkable and Liberate. Well, uh, or... By the way, if you guys are disappointment, F. Why, uh, I don't like the Stovall livery. That's choking, you idiot. Fucking stop, it's choking. Um, there you go. Um, that's all the content you need. Um, but anyway. It's a Yuki owner. Bulgarian. And there we go. That's Louise. Uh, just uh, at the back. If Malon Dior wins, maybe this is the season that she actually shows that promise she's put and actually puts together a consistent season. Um, uh, saying that, uh, she is in the team that we bragging from Nuremberg, so I wouldn't get your hopes up for uh, fans. Right, uh, D8 second. Harkinson's been a lot more aggressive. He gets third. Who knows? Maybe we'll see Harkinson end on a high. Um, maybe. It probably is his last season. Um, Ezio 4th, Bavenu 5th, Perez, Java ended up ninth, so they went on with the development. So. Well, that was interesting. Uh, penalties uh, per race, what? what? Maybe Hackinson, but it wouldn't change anything anyway. Um, yeah. And then maybe the Moore for his thing at the end, although, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Ezio got, okay. Ezio got punished for that in race 1, so he'll probably get punished for that as well, won't he? So. Yeah. Well, I actually do. Uh, Olimura was 16 on. Yeah, 
I even have hands against Harry and won't do anything. So that pen if the vote does get a free second time penalty, it's gonna drop him down to him. ten. You called out. Yeah. Over. Over. Esther had a really poor weekend. Like they were, they were very poor. They just weren't good. Uh, to be fair, I argue most all three Asian teams had a rough weekend near enough. Well, Lango weren't bad, but I... The so, Dougie? Yeah, we all know Kyle. Again. Um, as far as that position, it was far away from Nikolaev. So, if you get something for her, which might be counter-casted by her former teammate. So... Uh, welcome him. <laughs> It's a miracle! Well, he has shorter races, this kind of happens. Um, but yeah. It's also going to be TCL. Anything can happen. Alright. Except for Oscar Betsy to be consistently good. That's the last race of the weekend. Next weekend, we are back. Um, but until then, goodbye.